Linux Mint and Elementary OS are two of the most popular Ubuntu based Linux distros. They both are known for their respective homegrown desktop environments. Mint and Elementary have a huge fan following and are highly appreciated for their gorgeous desktops. They both might be based on Ubuntu, but the similarities end right there and both these distros are miles apart from each other. So how do they compare against each other? Which among them is the best? Which among them is more suitable for you? Linux Mint or Elementary OS? Let's find out. What's get up? This is Linux Tech. Jumping in, let's begin with the user interface. Elementary OS features the Pantheon desktop environment. Now Pantheon desktop is clean, elegant and just so beautiful to look at. One can feel the resemblance to the Mac OS desktop. Everything from the indicators to the wallpapers looks so neat. The application launcher is minimal, spacious and has a convenient search. It has two layouts, one is the default one and the other category wise arrangement of apps. All the apps integrate really smooth with the desktop theming. Looking at the overall setup, Elementary feels so organized and has a sense of calm to the desktop. And you'll just love the wallpaper pack. Linux Mint on the other hand is famous for its homegrown Cinnamon desktop. Cinnamon has a very huge fan following and looking at it, it's quite clear why. Cinnamon desktop is highly intuitive and just so gorgeous. The menu is organized and accessible. Unlike the GNOME desktop, the menu does not cut the user's workflow. Controlling your computer is really easy. Linux Mint's interface is quite amazing. Cinnamon is also highly customizable with a wide range of themes and additional widgets called spices. The effects and animations are there but not so much that they distract you from your work. Linux Mint scores top points in the interface department. I give both these distros a point each as I like both the desktops and it's a rather subjective point. You might like one, I might like the other. You can choose whichever you like. Both Elementary OS and Linux Mint are Ubuntu based, which means they are basically the same thing under the hood. So there is no measurable performance difference between them when running large tasks or gaming. But Pantheon desktop is heavier than Linux Mint's Cinnamon. Pantheon has a lot of animations and transition effects while Mint goes rather light on them. So at times, on older and less powerful hardware, Mint might feel more responsive in terms of app launches and window responsiveness. So the performance point goes to Linux Mint. Next, we'll be having a look at the stability and the usability of the two operating systems. Mint and Elementary both are based on the long-term support version of Ubuntu and they both release after a good amount of time has been dedicated in bug squashing on the new Ubuntu versions. So both the distros are very stable. They both are designed for home desktop use so they are very dependable. They both value a reliable computing experience over faster updates. They both are well tested and are really great choices for an operating system from the user's point of view. Now talking about the usability. Elementary OS has a weird window control mechanism with a close button to the right side and a maximize button on the left side. This can be a distraction at times. And did I mention the missing minimize button? Yep, there is no minimize button. And an essential tool like the Pantheon tweaks, which is needed for desktop customization is not pre-installed by default and is neither available in the app center. This is a really bad issue for a desktop designed for home users. So Elementary OS loses a point for usability. Being based on Ubuntu means access to the huge Ubuntu software repositories and the PPAs. The Ubuntu software repositories are huge and contain a very large number of software. Pretty much anything you need can be installed directly through the Ubuntu repositories. And the software that are not available in the official Ubuntu repositories are brought to you through the use of PPAs. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or the maintainers themselves, which you can generally trust and install from. Along with this, Elementary OS has its own app center. The app center is the software store of Elementary OS and it doesn't fail to impress. Along with the regular stuff, App Center brings to you a number of curated software which are specifically designed for Elementary OS. I really liked what App Center had to offer. I mean the curated software are really impressive. They are pay what you want software but I think they are definitely worth the price tag. The Elementary OS App Center is really impressive. Both the distros get a point each for software availability plus a bonus point goes for Elementary OS for the amazing App Center. 
Steam officially supports only Ubuntu at the moment, but you can use both elementary OS as well as Linux Mint for gaming too. Steam games are tested and optimized for Ubuntu and being based on Ubuntu means Mint and elementary OS will run these games flawlessly. The performance in terms of FPS and quality is good. Both these distros get a point each for gaming. Linux Mint and elementary OS have huge communities and there are a ton of troubleshooting and help guides available online for both these distros. It should be noted that pretty much any guide written for Ubuntu will be applicable to Mint and elementary to the dot. And Ubuntu has one of the best documentation and any issue you might face are easily solved by following the beginner friendly guides on the Ask Ubuntu forums. The community is very friendly and the solutions are highly accessible and easy to follow. And even if you have a question that is not already answered, community members prove to be very helpful. The community is one of the biggest strengths of Ubuntu which directly translates over to Mint and Elementary. Now as far as the distro specific forums are concerned, Mint has a huge pool of resources while Elementary does not have the same degree of organized information regarding Elementary OS troubleshooting available. Sometimes you might feel as though if it's just you who's facing a particular issue on Elementary and you might have to look really hard at times to get things right. My respect and appreciation for the community members of both these distros for the amazing work they put in. But the point goes to Linux Mint in the community support department. Elementary OS as well as Linux Mint have really simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way. You can install both these distros in under 15 minutes. Installation is as simple as it gets. Generally, Ubuntu and Ubuntu based Linux distros have the same simple way of installing proprietary NVIDIA drivers which increases the performance visibly. Linux Mint has this. Now elementary developers have done the extra work to strip this feature away. You need to install this feature using the command line and you might have to search online for the correct instructions. This really disappointed me. So the installation point goes to Linux Mint. Personally speaking, apart from some things here and there, I loved every second I spent on elementary OS. Yes, the window controls are horrible. Installing Nvidia drivers was harder than I thought. But I did install it with little googling around. I love the App Center. There are so many more amazing and useful applications available there. The desktop feels just so beautiful to look at. Setting up elementary OS as you like can be some work, but I feel it's absolutely worth it. Talking about Linux Mint, well the scorecard says it all. Mint is an amazing distro and home for many Linux lovers. It's simple, straightforward and just so elegant. Today, my personal vote goes to elementary OS but by the count of total points, Linux Mint wins by a good margin. Now it's time for you to hit the subscribe button below if you like this video. I upload Linux stuff a lot so stay tuned. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your comments are always welcome. Well, that's it for today. This is Linux Techs signing out.